Hello everybody, this is Lianame, and you are watching Let's Play RPG Maker 2 Fuma Part 5. This is where we left off. We're in the village of... I can't pronounce it. It's like... I don't know. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. It's like P-R-A-D... Or something. Pridal? Uh, let's see. We were just exploring the village here. Um, did I go in here? I don't think I did. This is the item shop. And holy crap, what is that? There's a baby going crazy. Um, hmm. Welcome to my shop. Do you want to buy or sell? Hmm. Different things here. What is this? It's a headband that gives you armor. That could be useful. I think I'm actually going to buy that. Um. Oh. Oops. And, uh... <clears throat> Let's see, it gives five armor to Leo and two to Kokona. I think... Well, because cause, uh, Kokona's already wearing a helmet, but Leo doesn't have one. I'm gonna give this... I'll give the mushroom to Kokona so I could have some room in my inventory. And I'll give the headband to Leo. And... And I'll equip that. Well, that's good. Okay. Everybody likes equipment. Especially upgrades. Upgrades are amazing. Look at this, we got a door here. Let's go inside. This is where we were. We were on the other side. Um, let's look in here. Got a mushroom. Holy crap! Ba ba ba. I can't believe I actually caught that baby in one try. Holy crap. Is there anything in here? No? Talk to me. My baby crawls so fast, he won second prize in the National Crawling Championship. Uh, let's go upstairs. See what's upstairs! Uh, there's a face. There's a cat up here. There's... Nothing in there. Oh, I got a hat. A leather hat. But I don't need it. Because Leo has a headband that gives you more armor. You know what's weird about this RPG Maker? Is that... You can pretty much do whatever you want. Like, you have the flexibility... Or, I mean, the game has the flexibility and the tools necessary to do whatever you want. And it's kind of weird. Like, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> You can create main characters, and one of your main character could be a cat. So you could actually, like, you could be a cat in this game if you wanted to. Oh. Hi there. Horsey. Um. Yeah, you could be, like, uh, you could be a penguin in this game if you wanted to. Which is kind of weird. Or a dog. Or something. Um, you could also have a car in this game. Like, you could ride around in a car, which is pretty weird. Um, here's the armory, or barracks, or something. Not barracks. This is like the weaponry, or armory. Or, not really sure what you would call it. So you talk to her. Um... She has a lot of good stuff here. Oh, wow. Oh, she has no... You see where it says, like, 0Q and 1Q? I have no idea what that means. I think that means quantity. But I, I'm i not sure. Mm, is that, like, how much they have in stock? Um, hmm. But look at that. At the bottom there, it says... My attack can be increased by 10 if I buy it. I don't have enough money. I think I'm going to save my money to get that. It's actually really powerful. 
Um, I'm gonna... I'll probably grind off-screen and then get some money and buy that. Uh, did I... Was there... Uh, what is this? Oh, oh, okay. Here's a door on the side of the building. And, uh... Oh, look at this. And there's nothing in there. But, look at this. Oh! Dagger. <clears throat> okay, this is good. It increases her attack by six. So I'm actually gonna equip that. Or she's gonna equip that dagger. Um, previously she had the oak cane, which didn't really do all that much. What is this? There's like, there's a scepter and some kind of axe, or... I'm not sure what that is. I'm glad I got that dagger, that's cool. Plus six. It's not a lot, but it's actually, it's pretty effective if you think about it. couple here. Did I miss something? I feel like I missed something over here. Uh, like, there's a pattern here. It looks like there's flowers, but there's one patch missing. Hmm. I don't know. It probably doesn't mean anything, but, you know. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go over here. There's two doors. I think I'm gonna go through this one. This is probably like the mayor's office or something. That might be the mayor. Or... Oops. Talk. Mayor, hello. You're looking for a Shinto, Shinto priest in this town? Oh, you must seek Loian. Loian went to the North Cemetery. The North Cemetery is where the village of Rastel, the Predes predecessor 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 of Pri Pra They have such weird names. Prahidel was until a hundred years ago. I'm planning to rebuild Rastel Village again where the North Cemetery is. That's why Loian has gone there, to soothe the spirits of the North Cemetery. You can ask my great great grand grandfather about the Rastel. Um about what Rastel was like a hundred years ago. He's somewhere in this house. He's a ghost, of course. Oh yeah, pff, sure. He's a ghost. Normally people can't see him. In fact, I've never seen him myself. Then how do you know he's there? Hmm? You're a very young traveler. You've come to greet the mayor. How polite. Now, why did I talk to him? Uh... That's pretty neat, like this thing right here, this is actually uh, a trough, and on top of it there's like a table. On, on, on one half of the trough there's a table, so it actually looks like it's part of a kitchen. So it's kind of like, it's kind of neat. You can use props and make them into different things here. In one of these armoires there's like something in it. My daughter said that she saw her great-great-great-grandfather in the attic. Oh dear, I think she must have seen a ghost. You know what that means. It's ghost-busting time. We are gonna go- go- <laughs> I stutter too much. You know that? I stutter too much. We are going to go. We are going to go bust. It goes, and look at that, there's a kid on the other side. Oh well. Let's go through this door. There's all these armoires and vases. Vases. I call them I call them vases, but you might call them vases if you're fancy. Vases. It's like potato, potato, tomato, tomato. You look into the vase, and there's nothing in there. And I'm just wasting my time looking through all these vases, and there's nothing in there. Oh, I actually got a bird feather. Okay. 
I mean, this isn't really necessary, looking through all the vases and bookshelves and armoires, but you can do it if you're looking to find some extra items that you could possibly sell. But, I mean, it's just fun. Sometimes I'll find... Whoa, what was that? <laughs> Cloth armor. Um, okay. I'm gonna give that to, uh... Kakona. She's gonna give the mushroom to the bag, and the bag's gonna give the armor to Kakona. That should raise her armor by three, which is great. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you might not find anything in these armoires. Armoires? Armoirewarvers? But sometimes you actually find good stuff, like that cloth armor, or whatever, cloth, whatever it was. 20 gold, look at that. It's not a lot, but it's something. <coughs> uh... Alright, I'm just gonna skip this. I mean, I'm just gonna go upstairs. And, uh, what? What? Is that? Oh, you can see me. I am the ancestor that they were all talking about. 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 I've been watching what you've been doing in this house. 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 Hmm? I know, I know, I know. <sighs> okay, I won't do that. You want to ask about when Rastel Village was destroyed, don't you? Uh, sure, I guess. It's going to be a. Rather long story, is that okay? Ugh. Happened a hundred years ago when I was mayor. Monsters suddenly attacked us. Many people died. I injured my leg. Look, here is the scar from that. Oh, never mind. I forget that as a ghost, I don't have legs anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry that I can't show you my scar. Oh, that's okay. Afterwards, all the survivors got together and built this new town, Prahadil. <laughs> Grew into a big town because we kept our faith. It's very important to keep our faith up so as not to repeat the tragedy of 100 years ago. That was the story? That was pretty short. Probably because I read it very quickly. I got 30 gold from that vase. Um, was I supposed to do something up here? I can't remember. I think the ghost was supposed to give me a tip. But I don't... I don't think the ghost actually... gives you a tip about what you're actually supposed to do until you talk to somebody. Um... Okay, well, the mayor told me to go up north, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up to a cemetery to meet a priest called Loian. Loian. Uh, just like before, all the battles that I get into, I'm gonna cut those out. Wait, do I go up here? Uh, yeah. I think. Oh! Ugh. Did you see that? That was the cemetery. Oh, we got a new, um... We have a new enemy, a new monster, a goblin. He looks fit for Christmas, doesn't he? Because he's wearing, like, red, and he's all green. I know I said I was going to cut out the battles, but that is a new monster, so I don't think I'm going to cut that out. I like to keep all the battles in the video as long as the monsters are new. So you go through these uh, trees here, and ugh. So you just go through these trees, and there's the cemetery. I'm not sure what he's doing at a cemetery, but there's a dog here. Woof woof. Okay. Uh, there's Loian. Oops. Bow wow wow. Dog's coming. Bow wow wow. Poochie! Come back here! The ground is not safe over there, it's dangerous! Poochie, it's just dangerous out here. Let's go over there. Um... What? Oh no, he fell into a hole! Dun dun dun! 